Two Reckless here, back here with another reaction. Today we're reacting to Michael Jackson Talks to Oprah Part 404, but in next video there will be a conclusion to this. Let's see who's bad, man. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Is that an ad? Coming from Michael's oh, house down to this uh, amazing amusement park, which is oh about several hundred yards, I guess, from the house. And this is—it's incredible. Thank you. And I want to know whether or not you did this for yourself, or did you do it for all the children that you you entertain here? For myself and the children. Every three weeks, we have uh, terminally ill children mm -hmm. that come to. Um, to the house, yeah. Make a Wish Foundation, Dream yeah. Street, Every three Starlight, weeks. yes. Yeah. And these are sick children, children with cancer, and I entertain them. Uh huh. And um, they come here. This is and unbelievable. They enjoy themselves. I, what I have to say is, these are not. I mean, me always wants to talk bad about Michael Jackson. He's over here helping kids with cancer. Yeah, I and mean, I mean, not help, but he, but he's entertaining them and helping them. Like with amusement parks and stuff yeah, like I mean, that, and oh, make them live, their, let them live their life without having to live with their with the thought in their mind, oh, I'm just a cancer patient. Right. I mean, all the bad talk and stuff, and you know, he for for a weekend takes that away from him, right? Yes. It's crazy. As I was talking to some kids who were here, these aren't just grandma rides here. <laughs> these are some major rides. I mean, the Sea Dragon and the. The Ferris wheel, and there's that zipper over there. The wipeout. <laughs> yeah, wipeout. There are bumper cars here. It's it's really... Thank you. Well, it brings out the child that lives inside of everybody. I and love rides and things like that. But did I share you, it with were you kids. able to do it when you were a kid? And Not really. Sometimes. Sometimes, but not often enough. <laughs> but now you can anytime? Every how day often do you right actually, in my backyard. How often do you actually come out here and do this? Whenever I'm here, I come Every out year. and I go on the ride. Well... Is this a part of you, what we were talking about earlier, the pain of growing up and not being able to experience all the things that kids normally experience, and so now you are fulfilling all of those fantasies? You compensate, and, yes. Really? Yes, it's very true. Do you think you can ever really recapture it, though? Does it feel the same? I mean, I, I don't <laughs> it's know. It's more fun. Is I wouldn't really? change the past if I had to. I'm, Would not. I'm enjoying myself. And here we are inside the theater. I had one too many sugar babies here the other day <laughs> at the candy counter. But the candy's here for all the kids, and Pinocchio's here, and E.T.'s here. Did you, what's fascinating to me about you is that obviously you have this childlike aura about you. And I see children with you, and they play with you like you are one of them. But a child did not do this. A child did not put this together. Oh, that's sweet. Yeah, this is, this is really magnificent. Well, thank you. I, I love to do things for children, and I try to imitate Jesus, and not, I'm not saying I am Jesus, I'm not saying... Yeah, I, we're clear on that. Right, I'm we're trying clear. to imitate Jesus in the fact that he said, to be like children, mm -hmm. to love children, to be as pure as children are, mm -hmm. and to make yourself as innocent and see the world through eyes of, of wonderment and, and the whole magical quality of it all, and I love that. And we have the children, like we'll have like a hundred ball-headed children here who they all have cancer uh -huh. and they're running around and they're enjoying themselves and it just make me cry happy tears that I was able to do that for them you really? know it makes me so pleased inside well when I came here to um, about a month ago to shoot uh, commercials with you for it, promoting tonight's event one of the things that really impressed me the most and I 
Hope you guys are getting shot to this. I don't know how you are if all the cameras are on us, but oh, we got other cameras. Uh, is that there are built inside the walls here beds, <laughs> beds for some of those sick children who come. And what yes. I realized when I saw that is that you have to be a person who really cares about children to build it into your architecture. Yes, yes. We have children that come who are. Um... Who puts that down? Puts the beds down. Are you talking about putting the beds up? No, who puts uh, somebody down that helps children like that? I don't understand. Crazy. Intravenously, they're, they're very sick and they're bedridden and they can't have to, sit up. Right, they can't sit up. And these beds, they're hospital beds. Mm -hmm. You push a button, they move up and they move down and they're able to watch. We have a magic show. We show the current films, if it's cartoons, anything. Mm -hmm. You know, and anything so they can escape to that world of magic that they don't get a chance to experience. The world that I was deprived of. Now, let me ask you this. Little. You know, I believe everything happens in people's lives for a reason. Do you think that had you not missed a lot of um, the, the life and fun and um, fantasy of childhood, that you would be so in touch with children today? Would you relate to them as I you did? I probably would, but not as much. That's why I wouldn't change a thing. Really? Because I'm, I'm happy with uh, the way things are and my caring for young people and everything. Are you really happy now? Because you've seemed sad for a long time. <laughs> I was sad for years and years and years, but I'm, I'm happy. I'm getting there, yes. I'm very happy. And, and what's made you happier? Being able to give back, uh -huh. you know, and to help people. Heal the World Foundation, which I formed, uh -huh. which helps children and healing in the world. We're doing Heal LA, which is, uh, we have three goals in mind, the immunization of children, mm -hmm. mentoring a big sister, big brother program, and education on drug abuse. And Jimmy Carter has teamed up with us to do Heal Atlanta. Uh -huh. And we're gonna do, go from state to state healing. You know, we've done Sarajevo, we've done lots of places. I know, we have photographs of you uh, from all over the world where you're with all of these children. One of the things I was saying before we went to the last break, before the alarm went off in the house and all of that, yeah. is that uh, we were talking about the rumors. One of the strangest ones I heard was that when you're moonwalking, you're faking it, that you have some mirrors in your socks someplace and oh, that it's not really real. No, that's not true. Just How did you, first of all, you know, we've spent so much time trying to dispel the rumors, trying to get the truth out, that I haven't had a really opportunity to talk to you about how you... And then we go back to the rumors. Yeah. You know, we, get, we go through this, about about how he's uh, helping children with cancer who are sick, all that, and then the rumors, right? Yeah, it just it's just right back to being, you know, the media, just right back to being a snake. Conceive your music, how you conceive the dance. Where did the moonwalk come from, actually? Well, the moonwalk came from these beautiful children, these black kids who live in the ghettos uh -huh. and, you know, the inner cities uh -huh. who are brilliant. They just have that natural talent for dancing. Any of the new hot, the running man, any of these dances, they, they come up with these dances. All I did was enhance the dance. Okay, I want to see you dance. I want oh, to God. see you dance. No, no. I, I want to see you dance no, live. No, I can show you a step or two, okay. but I'm a little rusty right now. A little rusty. Well, that's the moon. What did you catch it from the sideways? Got to turn sideways. Are you from the front? Yeah, we, front. we got you. you from the sideways. You go okay, just me? show me slow motion. Could you show me slow motion? Okay. Wait. It's like it's pushing and then there's it's it's mainly like a popping type of thing. Well, I'm sorry. I saw it live. I saw it live. I saw it live. And so you took it from you the rusty right now? Yeah, because um, I think they're the real dancers. <laughs> yeah. And when you are, for instance, uh, when we were here before to shoot that commercial, you were preparing for the Super Bowl. You were supposed to do this with me. I don't know how to do this. You know <laughs> I don't know how to do this. You know what? I mean, all the things ever printed in the tabloid, the only thing's ever been true is when they said I couldn't dance. And that, <laughs> that is the truth. When we were here mm -hmm. the last time shooting the commercial, you were like in between shots, running off, 
conceiving the dance, choreographing the dance. And so now, you know, we've turned it around that Oprah's worried about her tabloids, what's been put in there, right? Yeah. And, let, and yet, you know, she's bringing up every rumor and... Everything that Michael Jackson's ever did in his life. Or, you know, been accused of. Yeah, been accused of, yes. Yeah. And, uh, and I, don't, I don't know. You know, I, I, whatever. You were up all night dancing. On the Super Bowl? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well... I'm never satisfied. Even when I see something that I've done and people say, oh, it was phenomenal. When I did Motown 25 and I did the moonwalk for the first time, I was backstage crying afterwards because I was unhappy. You cried after Motown after 25? After Motown 25. But then as I was walking to the car, there was this little boy, he was like 12, he was a little Jewish kid, and he said, oh, you're amazing. Who taught you to ever dance like that? And for the first time, I felt I did a good job because I know children don't lie, and I just felt so good about it then. <laughs> you wanted to, you felt so good, you probably wanted to say, hee hee. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to sing something a cappella for me if you oh, can. Oh, no. What could I sing? Who uh, is it? You know, that whole do that little beat thing. Mm. Since we're here in the theater. Oh, boy. What could I sing? Who is it? Um, where did that he he thing come from? It just he comes he out of he he out of singing. Wait. Don't get caught up in the worldly possessions of the world. Mm -hmm. You know, do what's best for humans. Right? Mm -hmm. Help yes. others. Yes. And because if you just worry about the world and you, I mean, when you just worry about you like, in the media, like what happened, you just get put in this like a time loop and, it's, and then it just snowball effect. It's right. Crazy. And, you know, we mm -hmm. as a society, you know, we worry about who's got what and then make fun of those who help mm -hmm. it's it's backwards and you know as i watch this you know i, I admire uh mr beast the youtuber giving gives 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 and gives and gives and helps and helps and helps and you know michael helping the you know every did they say every third week yeah, uh, every three weeks. Yes. Every three weeks, bringing in terminally ill children from uh, cancer hospitals or wherever they may come from. I mean, you, how do you beat that as a human being, right? I don't know. I, I don't know. But then, you know, Oprah listens to this, puts this out. And then next second, about the next room, about the so the mirrors and the socks or whatever. Right. It's crazy. It is crazy, you know, it's, it is what it is. I just hope, Fisher, that you end up if as close to Michael as you can be. That's what I hope for in my life, that is it. But, if you like this reaction, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, be watching out for the conclusion of our Michael Jackson interview with Oprah, and check us out on Instagram. Watch these next two videos, and peace. peace.